Hello students how are you all i hope you are fit and fine at your home dear students today we shall study geography subject of 6th standard in the earlier video we have studied the first part of the chapter number 9 that is energy resources we have studied the substance based energy resources dear students now we shall study process based energy resources in detail so let's start with the reading again i am telling you reading is very important to understand anything so student go on reading in mind or aloud okay so let me read it for you process based energy resources hydel power hydel power is the power obtained from the kinetic energy of running water hydel power does not cause any degradation of the environment also the water used in generating power can still be used again bakran angle in the punjab and koina in maharashtra are examples of this so here we are going to study about hydel power student what do you mean by hydel power first let us study about it okay hydel power is the power obtained from the kinetic energy of running water student so if you want to understand hydel power then it is very important to understand what is kinetic what do you mean by kinetic student if you know the answer you can type your answer in the comment section do not forget it okay so kinetic energy of an object is the energy that it possesses due to its motion it means that we can obtain energy because of its motion or we can obtain energy from the moving object okay student so here in hydel power we can obtain energy from the running water or moving water okay student that is called as hydel power hydel power does not cause any degradation of environment yes student. here we are obtaining energy from the moving or running water and because of that it doesn't cause problem to our environment it does not become the reason for decomposition of our environment okay student in short we can say the hydel power does not cause any kind of damage to our environment okay yes also the water used in generating power can still be used again so here student if we use water once to obtain energy again we can the reuse of same used water okay student so here it is very important it is renewable we can say what do you mean by renewable here we have studied renewable means what that can be used again so here once we use water again we can use the same used water to obtain energy okay students yes so here some of the examples are given okay bakra nangal in punjab and koina in maharashtra are examples of this hydel power okay student bakra nangal both are separate hydel power okay students bakra dam is on the river satluj in bilaspur himachal pradesh the dam forms govindnagar reservoir okay students the bhakra dam is on satluj river and just now i have told you nangal is a separate dam in punjab bhakra is in himachal pradesh nangal is in punjab okay students have understood so here bhakra and nangal both are separate one but we pronounce the two together okay yes now the koina dam koina dam is one of the largest dam in maharashtra the koina dam is constructed on the koina river rises in mahabaleshwar hill station in maharashtra okay students have understood this much very good students do you know any hydel power station in our state that is in maharashtra if you know you can type your answer in the comment section let me tell you one by one the hydel powers in maharashtra okay the first one is bhandardara 
हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट अहमदनगर भातगर हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पावर पुणे भातसा हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट थाने एंड द लास्ट वन दैट इज द फोर्थ वन भीरा हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट रायगढ़ ओके स्टूडेंट हैव अंडरस्टूड सो दीज आर द फोर इम्पॉर्टंट हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट्स इन महाराष्ट्र ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड लेट मी रीड इट फर्स्ट फॉर यू एंड देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू विंड एनर्जी मैन हैज बीन यूजिंग दिस रिसोर्स सिंस हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इयर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन सेल बोट्स बट नाउ डेज विंड एनर्जी इज बींग यूटिलाइज फॉर पावर जनरेशन फॉर पावर जनरेशन अ विंड स्पीड ऑफ फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर इज रिक्वायर्ड ड्यू टू दिस विंड स्पीड द ब्लेड्स ऑफ द विंड मिल्स टर्न जनरेटिंग काइनेटिक एनर्जी This kinetic energy is further converted into electricity. Yes, student, we know that we have been using the wind energy from ancient days only. Okay, for example, sail boats. Yes, student, you can see in the picture sail boats. Okay, so here on the sail boats, the fabrics are used to push the boat, and to push the boat, the wind helps it. ओके स्टूडेंट सो सेल बोट्स आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ विंड एनर्जी बट नाउ डेज द विंड एनर्जी इज बींग यूज फॉर पावर जनरेशन सो टू जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और टू जनरेट पावर फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर स्पीड ऑफ द विंड इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके स्टूडेंट हाउ मच स्पीड डज इट रिक्वायर्ड टू जनरेट द पावर फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर स्पीड इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके स्टूडेंट एंड ड्यू टू दिस विंड स्पीड द ब्लेड्स ऑफ द विंड मिल्स टर्न एंड इट जनरेट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ये स्टूडेंट यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर द विंड मिल्स ओके हैव यू सीन एवर द विंड मिल्स येस इफ यू हैव सीन यू कैन टाइप येस और नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ओके सो द विंड मिल्स टर्न and then it converts into the kinetic energy and the kinetic energy is converted into electricity okay so in this way the wind energy is being used to generate power nowadays okay so have understood this electricity can be used for agriculture domestic use and industries in the states of maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu etc wind mills have been erected at many places such kind of wind energy can be used for agriculture for domestic use or for industries we can use this okay students and in maharashtra in most of the places for example dhule jalgaon ahmednagar in such districts we see such kind of wind mills and there we can obtain energy or electricity we can say other than maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu in these states also we find the wind mills okay students have understood very good now let's move further solar energy we get light and heat from the sun we have seen that the intensity of solar energy is maximum in the torrid zone in a country like india which is in the torrid zone there is a lot of scope for using this energy There is solar power plant at Sakri in Dhule district of Maharashtra devices like cookers lamps heaters vehicles can be run on solar power the generation of solar power depends on intensity of sun rays and the duration of sunshine students we all know that nowadays in modern era solar energy is one of the important sources of generating energy or electricity we can say and everywhere nowadays we use this environment friendly solar energy to generate electricity to use such kind of electricity for different or various purposes for cooking for heating for uh, vehicles okay so in a various way we can use solar 
energy for lightening and all the things okay student and we know we obtain this solar energy from the heat of the sun okay then we have seen that intensity of solar energy is maximum in the torrid zone okay in which zone torrid zone why there is a maximum intensity in the torrid zone because in torrid zone we know that temperature is high or the sun rays fall somewhat straight in torrid zone and because of that there we see the intensity of sun rays is lot in the country like india which is in torrid zone there is a lot of scope for using energy or solar energy yes student student we know that tropic of cancer passes through india and india is in between tropic of cancer most of the geographical part of india lies in between tropic of cancer and equator okay student so here we see this is the area which has very hot temperature this is called as a torrid zone we can say okay and because of that here we see the intensity of sun rays is very high and because of that here we have a lot of scope that we can use solar energy for various purposes so okay. see there is a solar power plant at sakri dhule district of maharashtra devices like cookers lamps heaters vehicles can be used just now i have told you okay student and the power generation is completely depend on the sun rays and the duration of sunshine okay student have understood is yes, very good now student let's move further tidal energy sea waves and tides are movements of ocean water that go on continuously a technology has now been developed to generate power with the help of the speed of the force of waves here two electricity is obtained from kinetic energy this energy is pollution free and everlasting it can be used on a large scale in a peninsular country like india efforts are on to start such projects in india yes student just now i have told you the meaning of hydel power or hydel energy here we are going to understand what is tidal energy tidal energy here energy is obtained with the help of the tides or the movement of tides we can say so when we know what is tide okay here tide uh, we can say sea waves and tides are movements of ocean water that go on continuously if you have been to any coastal area then you might have seen the waves or you might if you have been to a bank of a river then you might have know the waves okay student so nowadays such kind of technology has been developed that we can generate electricity with the help of such kind of tides with the help of the force of the waves we can generate electricity such kind of electricity is again called as a kinetic electricity because just now i have told you what is kinetic electricity the electricity or the energy which is obtained from the movement so here the movement of the tides movement of the waves is being used to obtain electricity so it's kinetic energy this energy is completely pollution free and again and again we can use just now i told you hydel power is also reused in the same way here tidal energy also can be reused or the water which we have used for generating the electricity tidal energy the same water again we can use here to make or generate electricity a lot of efforts are being put to establish such kind of projects in india okay have you understood very good now student we shall have the last part of this chapter students let me read it first and then i will explain it to you geothermal energy hot water springs have always been an object of curiosity for man they can be seen at unapdev vajreshwari manikaran etc the temperature in the earth's interior increases by 1 degree celsius at a depth of every 32 meters man has now developed a process whereby this underground heat can be used or utilized to generate power one such project is located at 
मणिकरण हिमाचल प्रदेश इन इंडिया ऑल द अबो एनर्जी रिसोर्सेस आर अबायोटिक दे कॉज मिनिमम पोल्यूशन दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज इन एक्जेस्टिबल एनर्जी रिसोर्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट जियो थर्मल एनर्जी स्टूडेंट लेट मी टेल यू द मीनिंग ऑफ जियो थर्मल एनर्जी जियो मीन्स अर्थ थर्मल मीन्स हीट इट मीन्स द एनर्जी विच इज जनरेटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एनर्जी विथ इन द अर्थ ओके स्टूडेंट वी नो दैट इन द crust of the earth there is a lot of heat and with that heat or with that interior heat of the earth we can form generate electricity okay students so here this is the part of curiosity for man that how the geothermal energy can be used to generate electricity so such kind of water springs hot water springs have always been an object of curiosity for man they can be seen at yes we can see such kind of hot water springs at unapdev vajreshwari and manikaran vajreshwari in maharashtra student okay so the temperature in the earth's crust or interior part go on increasing by 1 degree celsius at the depth of each 32 meters and man has now developed such kind of technology that we can use this interior heat or the hot water springs to generate power okay so one such project we see located in manikaran himachal pradesh in india okay students so have understood yes so here we have studied earlier we have studied substance based energy resources now we have studied process based energy resource okay student so all the process based energy resources are abiotic it does not cause any harm to our environment or earth okay students so have understood very good so today we have completed the ninth chapter that is energy resources okay students if you have liked this video like it share it to your friends do not forget to subscribe and comment below the video be connected be studious be thoughtful respect your parents and teachers thank you